Yo what is up guys welcome back by a brand new video today we are going to make a beat in the style of PBG Caspers I try of course I'm gonna give it my own twist but I hope I can help you guys a little bit with the fundamentals of a beat like this so let's get it man let's get it To start this one off, I chose a melody sample or loop and I hear you thinking, Thomas, everybody can put drums under a melody loop. That's not fun to watch. So guess what? <laughs> I got the man, the myth, the legend himself who made this loop to walk you guys through on what he did. So give it up for my boy Night Tiger and I will see you guys in a bit. Hey, it's Night Tiger. You might think this melody is complicated, but it's really not and I will show you. This melody only has, in fact, four patterns. So we start off with a spire pluck. This is actually a random preset from a trans bank. This is how it sounds with no effects. Now there are two effects I added, both of which are free. First we have Kilo Hearts Reverser. I give you one second to guess what this plugin does. Yes, you're right, it reverses the sound. But what's so cool about this plugin is it actually blends the original signal with the reverse signal and it sounds really nice. And the second effect is Valhalla Supermassive. I like to think about this plugin as delay and reverb in one. We also use this little EQ thing right there to cut out the low end and boost a lot of the high end. The reason why we're boosting so much of the high end is because in the hyper bar beat scene, we kind of do that a lot. The melodies sound less dull when you do that. It might not be professional, but it sounds great, so who cares? Our second melody is a piano from Contact. This is the Nor Pure library. I actually used the same exact two effects I used before. So this is with the reverser and the supermassive on. And more of the high end. <laughs> Even more high end. Our last instrument is actually the initialized preset Inspire. It's like the default saw wave thing, but with some delay and reverb and whatever that is, I don't even know. And it's just a really simple lead melody. And I added these two effects again and also cut out the low end. There is one more component of our melody, but before that I need to show you something. Notice when I play everything I went over by, it's not gonna sound like the original loop. Like it kind of does, but there's something missing, right? And that thing missing is actually the growth speed. So I routed all of the three melody components into one bus channel. So basically all of the effects from here are going to be applied to all of the three components of the melody. First, I cut out all of the low end again and also boosted the shit out of it. I added some sound goodizer. I'm usually not a fan of sound goodizer, but I think it fits great in that specific loop. And then we have the star of the show, which is the growth speed. This is just like a little bump here and there. Notice how much of a difference it makes. I'm gonna turn it off. On again. And also we have this EQ. Now I'm actually cutting low end again because Gross Beat usually generates some clicks that are really present in the low end. Of course, our melody has one more component, that being the re-space. Now I went really crazy on this pattern. Like, what the hell even is this? <laughs> so it sounds like this. And fair enough, you could go for a way simpler pattern, so something more like this maybe? That makes the melody sound cleaner, but also a little bit less interesting. So it's really up to you. So that's about it. Thank you, Thomas, for inviting me and let's go back to the drums, shall we? Every time when I work with loops like this, I always start with cutting out the stems that are the parts behind it. So what I want to do is chop up this reese a little bit, because right here we want that four to the floor tight beat. Let's find the parts we like. We can use that. Right now I'm just looking for some sustained notes. I think that one is perfect. Let's copy and paste that over and let's add one of the slides he made onto this section just to switch it up a little bit. Maybe this one. And add that one there. Let's have a listen to this man. So let's add some drums onto this section. So 
so after this section as you heard in the original pbg casper song he does have like some sort of trap drop so yeah man we're gonna do that as well and i'm gonna use the same hi-hat and snare we got i'm just gonna clone the pattern and change up the position of the notes clap just on your regular places and the hi-hat let's fill each two steps and let's have a listen to this <laughs> Right now it's time for the 808. I'm not gonna go for that fart bass you hear in his track. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna look for a short but not as distorted 808. I think that works. We just gonna follow the kick pattern. It's unfortunate that I put it in the playlist so I can't copy and paste it. But uh, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Now, the final thing that we could do is even make this melody a little bit more like personalized, you know? Is I'm gonna chop out like sections, for example, like this and have it play maybe like this. Let's have a listen, man. We could even make a chop right here to introduce us to the section where we have more drums. Alright, here we can like remove the drums and do this again, maybe even faster, just like that. Haha, <laughs> that drop is pretty weak, man. So let's add a crash onto it. And throughout the whole beat, you can like add these stutters into the melody just to keep it interesting, you know. But I always do like content first, details later. So these stutters are part of the detail. We're just gonna clip the shit out of it. And here you have your beat, man. There's nothing much more to it. <laughs> Guys, I think this is it. If you made it all the way through, I want to thank you so much for watching. I want to give a huge shout out to Night Tiger. Thank you so much for helping me with this video. His link to his YouTube channel will for sure be in the video description. So make sure to check that one out. If you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments down below. If I see that you guys like this, we can do for sure more stuff in the future. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one, man. Peace out.